What is going on ladies and genitals, Yodi Slay here, bring you episode 43 of my Borderlands 2 Legendary Weapons Guide, and today I have the fifth and final legendary submachine gun for you guys known as the Emperor. In my case it is the Flying Emperor, in your case the prefix of this gun may change, but it will be some variation of the Emperor. And before we get into this, I want to thank you guys for the overwhelming support on yesterday's video. I don't ask for likes much, but when I do, and yesterday is perfect case, you guys tear it up, and I just wanted to thank you guys uh, for the support on yesterday's video uh, but to get this emperor you're going to want to start in the south pole steam and power now we're going to be farming these assassins located within this place um, and there's four of them to be exact but you do not have to farm all four you can just do one or two in my case i did the first one which is located right here in the red circle um, the second assassin known as one eye is actually located there in the green you could do two you could do all four but i suggest uh farming just this first one as you'll see me do here uh, in this video now this took me 77 tries one day to get this I had farmed plenty times before trying to get the submachine gun because it was my final submachine gun I needed and I had farmed all four of them now farming all four of them takes you about 10 minutes to work your way all the way through here uh, farming just the two which is pretty quick takes you about two minutes and just farming this first guy here um, it's super easy just you know start the game up come in here kill him if he doesn't drop it save it and exit I think you actually uh, I think it's better just farming this first guy. You can you can get a lot more kills and you know in the time period than you can by going through and farming all four. I hope that made sense. It probably didn't. But there you can see that the very first guy, the very first assassin you come across, drops the emperor. Every single person I know that has got the emperor from these assassins has got it from the very first guy. But all the assassins have a chance to drop the emperor. I want to throw that out there. There's other guys that have got it from the second guy, uh, third and fourth, but I just think it's quicker and more time convenient to do that first one. But right here, we're going to check out this gameplay. I do have the B shield on, so it's going to beast right here at the beginning. You see, it does like 8,000 damage, which is one of the, it's actually the highest damage out of all the legendaries. But when you zoom in and you're aiming down sight like this, it's going to be a burst fire weapon. If you've got the B shield on and you can control your fire to where they're all on target, it's going to destroy, to destroy most enemies. When you're not aiming down sight and you're just simply hip firing, it will be full auto. I do not show you an example of that, but the rate of fire is pretty slow. I suggest aiming down sights like this, and you can see every single enemy with this B shield on, it's one bursting or there, I didn't have it on target all the way, it's two bursting. I really like this submachine gun. I, yesterday on Twitter, once I got it, some people were saying it was really bad. But I'm trying to get the Thunderbolt Fist from Captain Flint, and this is my go-to submachine gun. Uh, while he's up on top with the B shield on, it just destroys his shield super fast. And then once you get down, and once he gets down, uh, those burst fires, if you're on target, man, it just wipes him out pretty good. Now you see me there. I took the B shield off, and I'm going to show you what it's like with just this, you know, just any shield on. I have the sham. Um, on in this instance and it's still a decent submachine gun if you're against the B and you think you're a noob if you use it which in my case the B shield is my go-to shield when I farm you know I just like to kill things as quick as possible but if you're against the B shield because some guys are um, you, you can see here the damage is pretty decent three to five bursts with most enemies you're going to come across you're going to kill those enemies uh, so it's pretty freaking awesome but guys I hope you enjoyed episode 43 it's been a heck of a I mean I've enjoyed this series so much and you guys just made it like heartwarming with all the likes you gave me on yesterday's video i've been farming all day i've only got two confirmed legendaries left to get the hammer buster and the thunderball fist and i hope i get those for you tonight uh, but i hope you guys enjoyed this episode good luck on getting the emperor and i'll talk to you guys later peace